we have a mass olympiad question on the board let's go ahead and get the solution welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're tuning in you're highly welcome and if you have been a returning viewer if you are a returning viewer know that this particular soul here loves you so much okay all right let's get into the business of the day we are asked to find one over x plus one over y we have two methods we are going to use here the first method first method okay so we have two equations here the first is that 2 to the power of x is equal to 216 so 2 to the power of x is equal to 216 okay then we can say that 2 to the power of x is equal to 6 to the power of 3 all right so let's call this our uh, equation 1 also we have that 3 to the power of y, right? 3 to the power of y is equal to 2, 1, 6. Okay, similarly, we can say that we can say that 3 to the power of y is equal to 6 to the power of 3. Now, let's call this equation 2. All right, now let's raise but before then can we just add one over x plus one over y let's add it together and see what we are even expecting okay one over x plus one over y is equal to the lcm of x and y is what x y right now when x y is divided by x we are left with one with y sorry now y times one is y so we have y plus when y when x to x y is divided by y we have x x times one is x so this means that one one over x plus one over y is equal to y plus x over x y so let's keep this aside let's keep this aside or we can call it equation three all right now we let's raise equation 1 to the power of y and equation 2 to power of x. Okay, so let's raise equation 1 to power of y. That means we will have 2 to the power of x raised to the power of y is equal to 6 to the power of 3 raised to the power of y. Right? Okay. Now, similarly, let's raise equation 2 to the power of x. So we are going to have 3 to the power of y raised to the power of x is equal to 6 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x. All right. Now, let's solve what we have on the board. If we expand this, recall your law of indices that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n which is equal to a to the power of m n okay so we are going to apply this here if we do that we will have 2 to the power of x times y will give us x y is equal to 6 to the power of 3 times y will give us 3 y now for this side we'll have that 3 to the power of y to the power of x is xy, okay, is equal to 6 to the power of 3 times x is 3x. All right, so these are the new equations that we have formed. Now, let's call this, this equation 3, right? Let's call this equation 4 and this equation 5. Okay, now, equation 4 times equation 5. Let's multiply equation 4 by equation 5. And when we do that, we have, let's have 4 times 5. So we'll have what? 2 to the power of xy. Okay? Times 3 to the power of xy. All right. Is equal to 6 to the power of 3y times... 6 to the power of 3x. All right. Now, recall, recall the law of indices 
that states that 2 to the power a to the power of x times b to the power of x, okay, is equal to a times b raised to the power of what? x. Now, in this case, our x is x, y, x, y. So, we can write this as what? 2 times 3 to the power of what? x, y. Okay? Is equal to... Now, we have the same base. And according to the law of indices, a to the power of x times a to the power of y. Once you have the same base, you are going to pick one base and then you add what? The powers, right? Okay, so let's do that here. That means we will have, we are going to pick one six here and we are going to add the powers 3y plus 3x. Okay. <laughs> If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, um, please subscribe to the channel and then on your notification bell. Yes, because by so doing, you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Comment, let me know what you feel about what I'm doing and what you feel I'm not doing right, okay? And if you have another solution to this, please don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section. Okay. Now, this is what we have. Remember, we have two methods we are going to use and we are still going to arrive at the same solution. So, we now write that 2 times 3 is what? 6. So, we have 6 to the power of xy is equal to 6 to the power of what? 3y plus 3x. All right. So, 6 to the power of xy is equal to 6 to the power of... We have what? The same base here. That is three brackets. X plus Y. All right. Now, we have the same base here. The same base. Okay, sorry. We have the same factor here. We factored it out. Not the same base. Sorry about that. So, here we have the same base. What do we do? According to the law of indices, or while you are solving any exponential equation, once you have the same base, once the base are equal, the powers are also equal. So that means that we can write that xy is equal to 3 brackets x plus y. All right? So this is what we have, that xy is equal to 3 brackets x plus y. All right, now, we are going to remove this 3. And how do we do that? We need to divide both sides of this equation by what? by x plus y. We want this 3 to be on its own. So if we do that, divided by x plus y, divided by x plus y. So this, we divide this, and you are left with what? That x, y over x plus y is equal to 3. Now, if we want to take the inverse of 3, which is 1 over 3, so it means that 1 over 3 is equal to, we take the inverse of this side, right? is equal to x plus y all over x, y. Now, recall from our equation 3 that y plus x over x, y, which is the same thing as x plus y over x, y, is equal to 1 over x plus 1 over y, which is what we are looking for, okay? So that means that this 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over 3. So this is the solution. All right. This is the first method. Now let's apply the second method. Okay. Now, for the second method, we have 1 over x plus 1 over y, right? Let's take the log of both sides of this equation. So we have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log, before that, let me not jump any step so that we all, we understand what I'm doing. So recall that this has two equations here. The first is that two to the power of x, okay, is equal to two, one, six. And the second is that three to the power of y is equal to two, one, six. Okay, 
Now, this is 2 to the power of x is equal to 6 to the power of 3, right? Then 3 to the power of y is equal to 6 to the power of 3. Now, let's take log of both sides, both for this side and this side, okay? So, if we do that, we have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 6 to the power of 3, okay? Now, similarly, we have for this side, log 3 to the power of y is equal to log 6 to the power of 3. Okay, now... Using the power rule, okay, the power rule, this x will come down to multiply log 2, okay? This x will come down to multiply log 2. So we have for this side of the equation, for this side we have x log 2 is equal to 3, come down, 3 log 6, okay? Similarly, for this side we have y log 3 is equal to 3 log 6. Okay, now we want to get the value of x here and the value of y here. So to get the value of x from this side, we need to divide both sides of this equation by log 2. Okay, so if we say divided by log 2, this side divided by log 2. Now to get the value of y for this side, we are going to divide both sides by log 3 and this side by log what? 3. Now, when log 2 cancels log 2, we are left with only x. Our x is equal to 3 log what? 6 over log 2. Okay? That is for this side of the equation. Now, for this side, log 3, we divide log 3. We are left with y is equal to, so we have 3 log 6 over what? Log 3. Okay, if our x is equal to 3 log 6 over log 2, and this is 3 log 6 over log 3, then 1 over x, which is inverse of x, is what? Log 2 over 3 log 6. Okay, similarly, 1 over y is equal to log 3 over 3 log 6. Now, we are asked to find the value of 1 over x plus 1 over y, right? So, 1 over x plus 1 over y should be equal to log 2 over 3 log 6 plus log 3 over 3 log 6. All right, we have the same denominator, okay? So this is equal to log 2 plus log 3 divided by 3 log 6, right? Okay, now this is equal to, recall the law of log reading that states that log A times B, okay? is equal to log A plus log B. All right, we have this in this form already. So let's take it back to this form, all right? So if we do that, we can rewrite the numerator as log 2 times 3 divided by 3 log what? 6. So this is equal to log 6 over 3 log what? 6. Now log 6 can divide log 6 and you are left with what? This is equal to 1 over 3. 1 over 3. Just like we found using the first method. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a very lovely and beautiful day. Bye.